Pikachu. L underscore Beza, Tier 1, just subscribed for 8 months. Hello, how are we? Hello, everyone. I hope we're doing good. How is everyone on this fine evening? Hello, Callus. Hello, Beza. Hello, Freaky Puss. Hello, Bright. Thank you very much again for the sub. I appreciate you, Beza. Eight months. Oh my God, we almost have a baby. That's crazy. What are they going to name our baby? Poopy Paps. Are you wearing contacts right now? Wait, are you new to contacts? I'm not going to lie. Um, when it's nighttime, I usually have my glasses on. That's why, like, most of the time when I stream, I have my glasses on. But, um, I don't know. I just didn't feel like taking my glasses off right now, so. 
sometimes like my eyes get pretty dry but i was feeling okay so i i, I didn't even uh take them off wait really what made you like not use contacts before i mean honestly like, i'm not gonna lie contacts are just like contacts are just kind of more convenient like for most things like contacts are more convenient but like when i'm just sitting here gaming or whatever like glasses and contacts perform the same but like if i'm out and about in any way contacts are just superior so i like during the day i usually have contacts on unless my eyes are bothering me tbh <laughs> do you like that scopes i just added that i dude i added so many emotes if y'all want to check out check out if you want to see all the new emotes i added check out the seven tv emote list and i added hundreds of halloween emotes and you know of course there's other emotes too but there are so many halloween themed emotes and i love them they're so good. You never tried contacts, you never will? Wait, why? You've been wearing glasses for 16 years, you never tried contacts? Wait, why? Contacts are so convenient. Contacts are better in like for so many things. Glasses are so inconvenient sometimes, hello? Bleach tomorrow? New bleach, really? I'm gonna have to rewatch parts of bleach to give myself a refresher. Oh, and for those of you that weren't in Discord looking, I added three new emotes specific to my channel. I added Paps Cartwheel, which is like the, one of the little Albernarks cartwheeling. And then I added Pap Stare, which is Ronnie looking like a freak. And then I added Pap Stanced, which is Rocky looking like a freak too. Your car is awful? What do you mean? It's Halloween. How is this awful? Are you not Tis the Season? Glasses are more convenient. Yeah, but what about when you're doing physical physical activity? What about like when you're doing anything? Anything that involves like movement or like I said, if I'm just sitting here gaming, I don't really care. Like that's why I have glasses on most of the time when I'm streaming. But you know, out and about during the day, contacts are better like when I have my eyebrows done, I need to have my contacts on. When I pretty much have any kind of appointment, it's better to have my contacts on. It's just more convenient. Glasses get in the way of shit. Does not... What do you mean? It's... It's Halloween. How else am I going to make a Halloween-themed preset? Is there a ghost decal? Are you de stinkied? Come over here and tell tell Bright you're sorry for falling asleep. 
<laughs> Could you hear that? She said sorry. <laughs> oh, Callus, you're such a happy little guy. Oh my god. Hi. Hello. I love that emote. It's so good. I'll never get over that. Is there really like no ghost emote? Because high is not really an emote that's used like in conversation like ever. The emotes that suck are the one, the words that are like frequently used in regular conversation. And I have like no idea what the fuck someone is saying sometimes. But like hi, bye, you know, that's like said once or, or once from one person. And I know what they're saying. But if it's like, if it's like an emote like LOL or whatever, and it's popping up like fucking eight, like 12 times in a conversation, it just gets to be too much. Oh my God. Hey, twin. What have you been up to recently? It's annoying. No, it's not. It's awesome. How is there no ghost emote or decal? Okay, yeah, see, you're purposely spamming it. Like, people don't say hi four times in a row. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play a spooky game today. I think I might start Dead Rising. Um, like, I, I hopped on for, like, an hour before and, like, just started playing it and was chilling just to, like, get it up and running. Um, like, literally, I don't even know, like, a month ago, a month and a half ago. But, um, I don't know if I'm going to start Dead Rising or Resident Evil 2. I think I'd probably start Dead Rising if I start a scary game today. I would like to play Elden Ring today for a couple hours, but I'm giving myself a stream end time of 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., somewhere in that range, because I want to be in bed. I want to be in bed and sleeping 5.30 latest, and then I'm, I can get up around, like, afternoon and I'll be okay like like 12 or something so I'm giving myself an end time so as long as I get on Elden Ring around 2 30 and I can play for a couple hours I'll be chilling I want to wake up at 2 p.m. for my anniversary with Slee Wait, what? Are you... Is that... Was that a jab at me? Smells like farts from a button here. It's probably silly. Is not me. I thought the anniversary was tomorrow. No, the anniversary was this week. It was the second. We already had our anniversary. Well, I mean, the date already passed. I'm going to be making... We're going to be celebrating it tomorrow. I think I think tomorrow we're going to go apple picking. And I'm going to make Schlee, like, linner. It'll probably be like late lunch dinner. We'll go apple picking and then I'll make make food. Did y'all hear the dish I'm gonna make, Shalee, for her anniversary meal? I'm gonna make her sauteed spinach, sauteed broccoli, 
and um, salmon bites over rice, over white rice. And for the sauce, I'm going to use um, a spicy aioli for the salmon. I think that'll be really good. I hope I, I've never cooked salmon before, so I really hope I don't mess it up. PNG lock. Re Wait, blue lock starts tomorrow. Happy late anniversary. Oh my God. Thanks. Applegate. Bro, I s can we, can we still talk about like, and it's been years now, obviously, but can we talk about how insane that was? There was like a, drama on Twitter because Shalee and I were happy and posted literally just normal ass pictures of us being happy. And then there was drama and people roasting us in the Rocket League community just because of how I look and she looks. And then I was getting roasted by people in between saying, oh, you know, just don't don't mind the the endless army of freaks that are just bullying you you're like you know you're being a pussy don't give it attention really cool hi hannah If I look weird, Callus, then you look straight up. You look straight up fucking deranged. You look straight up out of Caleb? No, Ronnie does. Ronnie does, unfortunately. Are you ripping ass over there? Yeah, you're fucking lying. All right. Get my make sure my mechs are on point. Bro, what the fuck? I can't even zap dash anymore. I'm washed. Why not something crazy? Tentatively, sure. What the fuck? Why is my right speed flip so janky right now? Hmm. What the fuck, bro? I'm just mistiming my zap dashes. Uh, yes. Wait. So your mom was upset over something that, like, wasn't even actually an issue, Callus? Is that what I'm seeing? That's kind of insane. So your mom didn't even like check to make sure or anything. She just like assumed. That's so awesome. <coughs> That's really awesome. So she projected her own made up feelings onto your father is is what i'm hearing oh my god i got so much power on that 
Of course, not a goal. I mean, like, it makes so, like, it makes no, it would make no sense to be upset about that. Like, your dad is a weirdo, but, like, that is, like, a normal person reaction. Like, yeah, of course, like, why wouldn't I want them to go to the gym? That's literally, like, the normal reaction. This preset actually feels fine. So I like. I felt like this. I feel like I felt like more of a brick in this preset when I was using like the really really bad boost. But now that I'm using standard, this preset like low key feels playable. Hello, Emmanuel GE. How are we? I want to get better at doing like the pop up and then following it. Fuck. Ass. Did I say Emmanuel GE or did I say Gim Hawk Tua? I don't remember saying Gim Hawk Tua. Maybe I did. I've been with you 40 for the. D oh, thanks, brother. Yo, much love, brother. When I hop on Elden Ring. Most of the stream is probably, like, just going to be me fighting Millennia. Considering it took me, like... Considering it took me, like, 90 minutes for the Fire Giant and Moog. And I've only spent, like, an hour on Millennia. You can expect me to be spending at Warfruit least JR, another hour on her. Just subscribed for two months, hi, Paps. Is there anything she's immune to that I should be aware of? Because I was thinking about switching my Nagakiba to a Frost Nagakiba so I can get Frost procs and Bleed procs. I saw that I saw that that was a, a pretty good combo and Frostbite is apparently a, a good status. Why exactly? Why not? There's no order to Elden Ring. I'm like literally like a level, I'm level 130. It's not like I'm under leveled or something. I already, I already have almost taken her to phase two multiple times. And that was like, I've only just started to fight her. I was just rushing in and like throwing my head at her. I didn't like, I wasn't actually like learning her moveset like I should have been. Yo, warm fruit. Thank you for the sub. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Two months. Welcome back. You beat her at level 150? I think I'm like level 131 right now. So, I mean, it's not like I'm under leveled. When did I take her to phase two ever? I didn't say that. I said I almost took her to phase two. I mean, like, if I absolutely can't beat her and it feels impossible for me, I'm, like, I'm not adverse to going back to her later. But, like, I think I can beat her. I just need to, like, I just need to learn her moveset. That's literally it. I need to learn her moveset. Like, if, dead ass, if I learned how to dodge Waterfowl Dance... That's what it's called, right? If I learn how to dodge that, I genuinely think I beat her. Like, no joke. I, I think that's... Just, I mean, of course, easier said than done, right? I know that that's the hardest move to dodge. But, like, if I, if I figure out how to dodge that, then the whole fight gets opened up. Try using only Rivers of Blood and see how it feels. I kind of want to use Nagakiba, though. Because I can put my own Ash of War on it. Phase 2 is the same as Phase 1, but she just has, like, the Scarlet Rot stuff. Does she even have any new moves in Phase 2? Like, maybe a... Oh, actually... 
I think I saw like one new move she had in phase two. Let's go. That's awesome, Warm Fruit. W. Two Ws. I'm happy to hear that. There has not been a single boss in the game that after enough time, I can't learn and beat. Melania will be no different. She will be defeated. I just need to learn and get better. Simple as that. Wait, I thought you already beat Millennia, Emmanuel. Happy to be here. You're so cute. I could have sworn you said you beat Millennia before. Am I tripping? I swear you said you did. Xylo back on the bow grinds? I swear that you said you beat Millennia. Am I tripping? It must it must have been someone else then. Must have been someone else because Yeah, I don't know I could have sworn but Yeah, you're grinding Getting to Melania is really not that bad. I'm pretty sure I made my way through the Halig tree in like half an hour max. And that was with doing like M Millicent's quest. I more than likely will be playing Elden Ring today. And I, I think today is basically just going to be like the beat millennia stream, I think. Because it's probably good. It, I, my guess to beat her, it's going to take me like another another hour, hour and a half at least. To like get down her attack patterns and, and learn when I can hit her and shit like that. Because I, I, only, I only played against her for like 25 minutes. So I like barely, I like barely even got to learn her attacks and stuff. I... I was just fucking running in and dying like so many times. Palace coping. Sorry. Why are you coping? Why are you acting like I, I won't eventually beat her? You're being silly. Do I want a tip on how to dodge it? People were saying to run away. I think I think one of the things I need to do better with Melania is keep my distance and not be so close to her all the time. I'm so used to like getting in bosses grills and dodging into them, which obviously is still good for her sometimes. But I need to like create more distance with her and time my attacks better.
Emmanuel, that's like literally the whole point that I'm saying. You're just reiterating my point. Run away. Run away from the first attack in Waterfowl and then roll roll into the next two pretty much. Like that's, like this is what I've been saying the whole time. Like, I, I'm going to beat Elden Ring and I'm gonna beat every boss. But people like Callus are making it seem like I'm, there's just no way I'll never beat her. Impossible, not me. For some reason. Callus can't help the other people not dodge an attack. Hi, Cal. Such a happy little guy. You know Callus is going to be so upset when I beat her. Because I'm not playing the game like I'm supposed to. My pathing is bad. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. I'm the GOAT. That's all that matters. <laughs> For real, Gim. I just literally wasn't over leveled for Moog. He just simply two hit me. He just simply had the capability to two hit me. There's just no way I'm over leveled. What the fuck? What the fuck is under leveled? He just one hits you every time he touches you. King Luke XV, tier 1, just subscribed for 36 months, sup my G. Hi Dav. I f it feels great actually. Oh my god, Pukus. Thank you for the sub. Oh my god, three years. Three whole years of Pukus being subscribed to me is actually crazy. Holy shit, dude. That's so wild. How are you doing tonight? I am level 131 right now, I think. Dude, I don't know. Yeah, Callus keeps saying that the tier is cheese when it's literally you're meant to use it for Moog. Like literally, you are it is you are meant to use it for Moog. Like if you get it rewarded for exploring and picking it up. It's not like I look like I literally just got rewarded for exploring, had it, and you're meant to use it for his fight. Like you're not not meant to use it. Like, the whole point that Sacred Tear exists is for that fight. You understand that, right? Cows, you're literally the only one who thinks it's cheese. You understand that, right? Bad argument? How is that a bad argument? It exists in the game for you to use for the boss battle. Yeah, Mimic Tier isn't cheese either. It's part of the game. Like, dude, I don't know what it's going to take for y'all to accept that, like, I'm doing a challenge run. Like, no summons is a challenge run. Like, I don't know how many times I have to say this. Using summons and stuff is part of the game, like the base game, like how it's meant to, like the creator of the game, bro. Oh my God.
I got you. I literally have a quote from the creator of the game. No worries. One moment. I got you. No worries. Let's see. In preparation, this, this is the creator of the game, by the way. In preparation for Shadow of the Air Tree, I played through the main story of Elden Ring, Miyazaki says in an interview. I want to preface this by saying I suck at video games, so my approach or play style was to use everything I have at my disposal, all the assistant, every scrap of aid that the game offers, and also all the knowledge that I have as the architect of the game. The freedom and open world nature of Elden Ring perhaps lowered the barrier to entry, and I might be the one who's benefiting the most from that as a player more than anyone else. The literal creator of the game plays the game using summons and everything at his disposal. <laughs> Hello, Vekage. Like, I don't, like, you guys are disagreeing with the creator of the game. You understand that, right? Let's see. I don't, well, actually, I don't think this is a real quote. I don't think this is a real quote, so I'm not going to. Miyazaki himself uses mimic tier. Thank you. I mean, like, you you guys are just disagreeing with the creator of the game. I don't know what to tell you. He's also only 49 years old. He's not 70, so. Reddit? It's not Reddit agrees. It's, it's him. It's the creator of the game. It's, guys, guys, it's not Reddit. It's the creator of the game. It's, it's the, cr the literal creator of the game. Does it make it a valid argument? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you didn't miss anything, Ammo. Okay, dude. Sure. I'm the creator now using Mimit Tears and L. Dude. I literally, okay. This is, I'm saying this in like the simplest way possible, okay? If the game has all of these features in it, magic, summons, all of those things, right? Then that is the base way to play the game, right? There's no like difficulty sliders in Elden Ring. There's no difficulty settings. Basically, you are making the game as difficult for yourself or as easy for yourself as you want. So the base game is meant to be used with summons and magic and whatever you want at your disposal. That's how the game is meant to be played. Those features are in the game for a reason, right? So anytime you're withholding yourself from using features in the game, it is a challenge run. Simple as that. Yes, exactly. Brayden, that's a great point. That's a great point. It's a challenge run. You're meant you're meant to be withholding those things from yourself. Correct. You're proving my point. You're coping saying it's a ch How am I coping? I've played the whole game without summons. How is that cope? Dude, Dab, it's not Rage Bait. They're being serious. So real, Luke.
Like, bro, I, my opinion is literally just facts. Your opinion is based in... Your opinion is literally just based in what you think. My opinion is based on what the creator of the fucking game is saying. I don't know how much more valid it can be. I didn't realize what you meant. You're right. Yeah, I know. But they're, they're somehow disagreeing with me, Brid, and I don't get it. No, no. That's not what... It, I'm. It's the opposite. I'm saying purposely not using summons and other stuff makes it a challenge run or like a more difficult run. That's the whole point. Like, if you are withholding, if you are withholding stuff in the game from yourself, it's a challenge run, period. It might not be a rune level one challenge run, no hit, but it's still a challenge run. What the fuck up, Xylo? Yogurt? What kind of yogurt? How is that how the game is meant to be played? Because it's in the game? Dude, you realize that's also not true, right? Like, there are people that use Mimic tier and still struggle with the game. Like, not everyone is the same level of gamer. Not everyone has the same level of skill. Not everyone has time to put in fucking six hours a day into Elden Ring. Acting like, like acting like, just because, I don't, dude, again, Dav is right. I'm wasting too much time with Rage Bait. Anyway, I will be fighting Millennia later. And I'm hoping I can beat her today, but obviously I don't I don't know how good I'm going to get at, at fighting her. Yeah, I know, Luke. They they act like using summons or mimic tier is like an instant cheat code. It's just not the case. Does it make it easier? Yeah, obviously, somewhat. It's not an auto win, though. Yes, um, Emmanuel likes to pretend like every like Emmanuel is is unable to like process and accept that like other people besides him exist. I don't I don't know. Everyone is a manual, and if, if anyone is worse than a manual, then they're fucking horrible. And if anyone's better, then they're pro, I guess. I don't know. A manual is the bar, apparently. That's what I'm saying, warm fruit. Wait, I gotta go live on YouTube, fuck. I'm playing blue face. Like, I mean, I don't know how else to say this. Like, again, if you are withholding yourself from using things in the base game, 
If you are withholding yourself from using mechanics and stuff in the base game, it is a challenge run and you're making it more difficult for yourself. Point blank, period. There's no argument against that. Sorry. It's the same thing when it comes to Pokemon Nuzlocks. Nuzlocks are a challenge run. They're self-imposed difficulty. You are you are withholding things in the game from yourself. That's what makes it a difficulty run. I'm going to be doing the spookies? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to be playing a spooky game today. I might play Dead Rising. I might start... I might start a Dead Rising run and try to beat Dead Rising 1 for the first time, but I don't know. You think summons are cheese? Yeah, sure. Your opinion doesn't matter, though, if we're being honest. The overwhelming majority of Elden Ring players don't agree with you. The opinion police? You can have an opinion. That doesn't mean it's right. It's kind of how opinions are. You can think what you want. It doesn't mean it's correct. No, I'm not callous. Great question, though. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I have two games downloaded and ready to play and start. I have Dead Rising downloaded, and I have um, I have Dead Rising downloaded, and I have um, Resident Evil 2 downloaded. Those are the two games that I have ready to go. Yeah, exactly. People, dude, I can't lie. People that, like, are obsessed with calling, like, summons cheese or mimic tears cheese and, like, putting other players down for using them are so cringe. It's not a challenge run because I'm the GOAT. Unlucky, our, my teammate has 82 points. Not as cringe as summoning. What's Locktober? Kalos, explain. What kind of scary movies do I like? Um, I'm a sucker for like teen slasher movies. That's like my guilty pleasure. Like the, the the really cheesy ones like um like Fear Street I thought was really really fun to watch. Um I thought Bodies 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 that was fun to watch. Um stuff like that. Um, but the, the movies I like, maybe like enjoy the most. I don't know. I like, I don't know. Like I liked Hereditary a lot. Does that give you an idea? Right, Kyle is just being a freak. Callus, don't be an absolute freak challenge. How about that? Let's do that the month of October. No, let's do the opposite of Freaktober, please. For the for the love of God, I'm begging you.
God damn it, bro. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have time to play a spooky game and Elden Ring. I think I'm going to have to pick one or the other for today. Today might be a stream where I don't have time for a spooky game if I play Elden Ring. Hardest boss, hardest boss in the game is still Death Right Bird on God. That shit was clapping my cheeks. Hereditary is cool. Yeah. Okay, I looked away and got scolded. Okay. But yeah, I like I liked um, Hereditary was really cool. Hereditary was really cool. Um, I liked The Conjuring Forever Go when I watched it. Um, what's another good like horror movie? I like honestly, even though Terrifier would be considered like you know like torture porn or whatever. I forgot to go live on YouTube again. I gotta go live after this game. I do. I do like Terrifier too. I I, I like Terrifier one and two. So. I'm looking forward to watching Terrifier 3 when that comes out. Make some time for it. I would make out with you so hard. I hope you know that. Elden Ring is scary. Like, I wouldn't know if I would consider Elden Ring a, a spooky game, though, if we're being real. I mean, I've already, to be fair, I, this month, you know, I, I've already, I've already played and beaten two spooky games. You know, they were shorter games, but I still played and beat them, you know? I'll be uh, posting both of those to YouTube in the next couple days. I'm going to be posting. How do you miss that, bro? Like, genuinely. Unlucky. I mean, yeah, Elden Ring isn't cozy. I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not wrong. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, there's, there's a couple like free spooky games that I want to try out too. There was, I was like, um, I didn't even, the thing is, I didn't even like look up like free scary games that are really good. I literally was like, I was like looking at like a, a top scary games list and like a free one, a free one was on the list. So like that, that's how you know it must be pretty good. The new doors update. That's actually not a bad idea too. I never even beat doors. I have only played doors one time and I didn't even make it that far. That's not a bad idea. Wait, have you not seen the Terrifiers? Warm Fruit? Play Until Dawn? <laughs> I'm not spending $60 on that game. I feel like the most I'm willing to pay for a game nowadays is like $30, if we're being real. I might be down to play Doors, because Doors are Doors is also free and it might be pretty quick. Oh, 
God, m and is so fucking bad, bro. Doors is a Roblox horror game, but Loki, it's like, has some pretty decent jump scares. I still have Roblox downloaded, I'm pretty sure. Nah, if I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think any game is worth $60, $70. They're so overpriced. They only charge that much because people pay it. I don't think any game should be like more than 30, 40 bucks. I guess it depends like if it's like a super massive project with like a hundred hours of content or something. It's like different. I don't know. I return with chips and salsa. Ooh, what kind of chips? What kind of salsa? Dude, I wouldn't, there is no way I would ever pay a hundred dollars for a game, I'm sorry. Any game that is a replayable movie to me is worth that. I don't know. What about Rocket League? I paid $20 for Rocket League and I've put in an infinite amount of time. That's crazy, Emmanuel. Cucked. The point I'm making is games are way too expensive and the only reason they still charge what they charge is because people just pay for it. They know people are gonna pay for it so they just keep doing it. Like, dude, they raised the price of new games to like $70 recently, like that's... That's not good. That's really bad. That's super anti-consumer. The only way they're going to actually like, the only way they're going to actually like change prices is if people stop paying as much as they are for these games and like actually like dip into profits and like dip into their bottom line. Until people actually say like enough's enough. Like this is like way too fucking much money and should not be this much. I guarantee you prices would go back down. Yeah, I mean, not that long ago, the max price of games was like $60, and anything above that was either unheard of, or it was like, you know, like DLC included. Like, you could pay like $80 or something for like Call of Duty and the Season Pass, but like every game was $59.99, and even that's probably a little bit too expensive. Wait, why'd you just time ammo out? Huh? Did cows just sit on their phone or some shit?
Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I understand the sentiment of what y'all are saying. Like, you know, certain games you get a whole lot of hours out of, and that's great. Like, that's awesome. That's how it should be. Like, that's how games always used to be, bro. Like, games used to be cheaper, and they would still have a fuckload of content that people loved and enjoyed and could spend countless time on. Now it's like the opposite. Games are more expensive nowadays and have less content. And people just still don't care. They still eat it up and buy it. Does that make sense? Like, I mean, you brought up, I mean, you brought up a different point for Pokemon Emeralds, but that's a good point. A game, I'm pretty sure Pokemon Emerald was a $30 game, $40 game on release, I think 40 maybe. And you could spend easily hundreds of hours in a game like Pokemon Emerald with the amount of content and with like the battle tower and, and all the extensive mechanics that are in Gen 3. That's only Gen 3. You could do the same thing for Gen 4, Gen 5. All those games, I think, were Got a quick chat champion on my team, huh? That would have been a good play. <sighs> Unlucky. Why do you, why buy a Crunchyroll subscription when you watch all that for free? I mean, true. What's up, Arway? How are you? That's Paps. I'm Leech, too. What? So quick to leave the game. That's part of a mechanic of being a higher-ranked player is how quick you can leave the game. You got to work on your lead. Once you can leave the game quick enough, that's when you auto, when you auto rank up to SSL. I'm not quite there yet. I gotta go live on YouTube. Oops. What is this video game? Ah, music. Kind of goes hard, though. This, are def this reminds me of something I would hear in, like, an old video game. Kind of goes crazy. Yeah, change it, though. I'm live on uh, HoopTube, by the way, now.
Okay. Um. So yeah, y'all should go drop a like on my YouTube stream. That'd be epic. I didn't forget about it for an hour. I only played three games. Three games, I think. I think three games. <laughs> Dab spitting. Hi, Aura Way. Thanks for the like. <clears throat> yeah, there's weird... I don't know how many times I got to say the same thing. Yeah, there's some weird people on YouTube, but there has been so many cool people that are regulars on YouTube slash come to Twitch and have been on Twitch. Like, many people. Like, yeah, there's weird people, but there's also a lot of cool people, too. So, the more I ban and hide people on YouTube, the more normal it becomes. Acting like I'm not going to grow my other platforms just because there's some weirdos. Why would I ever let the weirdos win and not stream on a platform I want? YouTube chat is healing day by day. Exactly. Just none. Appreciate you. That's warm, right? Wait, really, Ammo? Who? Yeah, I know. Dude, I have grown... Dude, ever since I've been streaming on YouTube, I've gained, like, over a thousand subs. Like, it's kind of crazy. Um, and Dav, Violet Evergarden, honestly, is good, but... There's some really weird stuff in Violet Evergarden. I don't know. It sucks because there's some good characters. There's beautiful animation. Beautiful animation. Some good characters. Some great moments, honestly. But, like, there's, like, this one episode where they marry... Like, a 14-year-old is getting married off to a 24-year-old. And, like they make it some like love story where like the main point they're trying to push is that like you know l like age isn't a boundary for love did my teammate just dunk me that's tough i think i had that yeah there's some there's some like OG players in this lobby that I haven't seen for a long ass time. But what was I saying? Um Oh yeah, Violet Evergarden, I gave it like a I think I gave it like a 7.9 or something. It's really good. Like in so many aspects. But like just like there's like the really weird love story there's like a love story part of it that they try to push and it's just like it's impossible to feel connected to it because there's such a it's a problematic age gap and it's like how am i supposed to like feel connected to this love story like we're talking about a 14 year old and a 24 year old and also we're talking about a 14 year old in another at in another in another instance we're talking about a 14-year-old and a 29-year-old. It's like, that's not okay. Like, I don't care how... I don't care how sweet you try to make the story and, like, how they love each other or something. Like, we're talking about a child and a full-grown adult. Like, that's just never going to be something that is going to be something you can connect to in a serious way. The only way I connected with it was just by going, like, Ugh, come on, just please stop it sucks it sucks because like violet evergarden i would say other otherwise is a good anime and but you know like that's a blemish that you can't look past you know 
it like 100% affects my enjoyment of the show, unfortunately. Which sucks because like, dude, literally if the show, if they just, if they had the same exact like plot beats and stuff, except everyone was adult, it, it would just literally be a better show, like straight up. I don't know, they just simply did not have to add the fact that it was like adults and kids, just straight up. It would just be a better show. Sucks. But I mean, you know, regardless, it's a highly acclaimed anime for a reason. There's a lot of great, there's a lot of great about it. But that was, like, when I got to that part of the show, I was, like, considering just, like, dropping it. But I, I decided not to because I was like, this is so short. This is a short anime. A lot of people love it. I might as well just, I might as well just finish it off and see what else it has to offer. You know, I'm not disappointed. Hi, Ru. How are you? It's just, again, just weird shit that the anime would have been better without. Bang out the backboard and I just bean it like that stuff. So. It's cool. Tough start to the session, man. Can we yap about Annabelle? Like the movie? What's up, Cryomaniac? Yeah, it's really sad. Oh, sorry. I missed a lot of people on YouTube. But yeah, unfortunately, a really gross trope in a lot of older animes, especially, are the whole like pervert character and like sexual assault character. Like, haha, it's a joke. And it's like, bro, like, like literally, the anime would just be better without that shit. It, it's, I mean, there's like, yeah, there are a good amount of animes that have that shit. But there's a lot of animes that do not have that at all, and which is awesome. Um, like, that's awesome. Like, honestly, there's there's plenty of animes I could recommend that don't have, like, any, like, incredibly weird shit like that. Yeah, there's definitely, OG Dragon Ball definitely has some uh, interesting stuff in it, that's for sure, for lack of better words. Some interesting stuff that would have been better, or would have been better without. But the thing is, OG Dragon Ball, to be fair, also has the excuse of being made in like 1981 or whatever so at least that's literally like 40 plus years old you know i guess it at least has that as like some sort of an excuse doesn't make it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it you know not still bad and would have been better without but you know, I guess it has the, the, you know, the, the slight excuse of it being an older product, like a much older product.
You my teammate just saved that unlucky. I'm not gonna get to this. Mid? Pass? Something? Don't miss. No, I got the demo, but I bumped my teammate too. That's so sad. Holy shit, that was close. Good, good heavens. No, I haven't been able to reach out for a little while. It's been no goals. Shoot that. Nice try. Hmm. Nice. I got scared I was going to get ground double tapped under. Teammate backflip. Wait. Almost somehow worked out for us. Uh oh. I thought my teammate was going to bump me off that. I can't lie. That would have been unfortunate. Get in there. Oh. oh my god, that's a goal. Somehow it's not a goal. I didn't mean to double that. Uh, dude, these games have been so bad to start. Jesus Christ. I wish I got that demo. Oh. Yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm about to lose another one goal game, bro. And my teammate accidentally saved my open net. He like fell into it. That's so brutal, bro. Okay, let me reach out for a sec. Is Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, I think Cowboy Bebop was great. I loved Cowboy Bebop. What's up, Marty McFly? Yeah, I love Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, I I love Cowboy Bebop. It's one of my favorites for sure. I'm I watched it recently. I'm GC two right now. I've never I've never seen uh my favorite anime movie, Silent Voice. I love that movie. But yeah, I love Cowboy Bebop. I, as far as I can remember, I don't remember there being like any really like, you know, weird perverty shit in Cowboy Bebop. There might have been like an off scene here or there. There was like, maybe like one or two scenes where I was like, ugh. But like, other than that, I think I think it was pretty pretty solid. Hello from Brazil. Hello from USA. Cowboy Bebop was about me. Huh? You're from Texture I get you into it? Yeah, Cowboy Bebop is pretty good. There's, Cowboy Bebop definitely is... Um, I think I have it rated like an 8.5 or something. 7. It was really good. I enjoyed it. You haven't watched Suzume or A Silent Voice? I've seen both of them, and I like A Silent Voice better. 
Really, Dav? Would you put Perfect Blue ahead of like a silent voice, your name, all that shit? Hi, Zylo. Ghost in the shell. I've never seen. Uh, I've never seen it either. There's a lot of anime movies that I'm yet to watch that I I still need to. A lot of movies I gotta watch though. Okay, I think after this game, I know it's not the preset that's making me lose these close games, but like, I think it's time to switch the preset just to switch it up and maybe make me feel better. Like, to be honest, I don't even feel bad right now. I'm just like, lo I've lost like three one goal games in a row, so. I wish I could have scored that nice. What are the best workshop maps? The one I've played the most by far is Rings 3. Yes, I've seen your name. I thought it was really good. I've only seen it once, but it was really good and made me cry, so. I love, I love like sappy, cheesy anime movies that make me cry. Pretty much I like any movies that makes me cry. It's the preset. This is a burger preset. What does that even mean? Addo goat? Is that the decal you want me to look at? How do you get it, Callus? Is it like in the uh, rocket pass or something? AD6. I haven't seen AD6. What's the decal you want me to use? It's looking like this game's going pretty good, so. Tell my GF I said hi. She's sleeping right now behind me. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna wake her up, but. Oh. That was awkward. Exactly. I move. If a movie can move me enough to make me cry, I love it. Like, even there was a couple episodes in Violet Evergarden that that made me cry, which is cool. Again, I if if like a piece of art can get me to feel enough that it makes me cry, it's awesome. I love it. It just hits that much harder, you know, in my opinion. You cried everything, really? What would you say? What like movie, or I, I guess not a movie, what anime has made you cry the most, would you say? Man up pussy is crazy comms. One Piece? There, there's no way y'all are shedding actual tears on One Piece for real. I can't lie, none of like the the big three anime made me cry at all. Like Naruto never made me cry. Bleach has never made me cry. Dragon Ball never made me cry. I feel like they just don't get emotional enough. Play with the ugliest preset. It's Halloween preset. Come on. Everyone's hating on the Halloween preset. Gotta get festive sometimes. I just, like, typically, I feel like shonen anime like that just don't get emotional enough to actually get me to shed tears. Like, yeah, there's sad moments. Like, there's sad moments. But, like, it never gets, like, sad enough to actually make me cry. Did... What the fuck, man? Am I not here? Oh. 
brutal from my roster. Absolutely brutal from my roster. Oh my god. I've seen I want to eat your pancreas too. That shit made me cry. Did I remember Bye Bye Butterfree? I was like, yes, I remember, but... Unfortunately, I was too little to like fully understand it. Maybe I'll have to rewatch it at some point. Remember when I said this game's actually not going too bad? I remember. Okay, we're back in it. Crazy that I'm almost at Kalos' rank. That hurts. I don't know who let Kalos 1602s, but... Wait, can my teammate get to that? Oh my god. Bro, oh my god. That is so unfortunate. God fucking damn it. Holy shit, I mean, I almost just lost right there. Score that. You got that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking shoot myself in the head. Lucky. Tragic. Tragic stuff, truly. Who's better off being the orange one? Hmm. This is better off being orange too, though. Whatever. Sup, me, Bricky? Close match? Nah, I should have won that, unfortunately. I've literally lost every single one goal game tonight. And the fact that I could have scored that shot hurts. What's up, Austin? Oh, shit. Fuck. Sorry, Zylo. I was... Tr I fucking... was trying to cancel, and I took a fucking sip of my drink. My fault. After this game, please remind me when the game gets closer to ending. Please remind me. I will forget. I have a goldfish brain. You know this. What just happened? Yes, I'm drinking a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Oh. I've only seen Mob Psycho season one and two. I am yet to catch up on it. There's season three, right? Is there a season four too? I watched it years ago. Okay, nice. Nice. Just season three, okay, nice. 
You'd rather have real sugar? So true. Um, the way diet and zero sugar is made is different. I believe they use a different artificial sweetener, if I recall correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you look it up, I'm sure you'll... I'm, if you look it up on Google, I'm sure there's a probably an easy, quick answer. No, Mob Psycho is really good. Mob Psycho, I, th I gave him the eights. Like, dude, I love one. Like, one, I love his work. Like, I didn't like Mashal as much as I like One Punch Man, Mob Psycho. Um, am I forgetting something? But I, I love One's work. drink water I drink water and I drink zero sugar soda though but yeah I um bro but yeah like honestly just the way the way one makes anime and tells his stories and stuff is it's just so good I really enjoy it Like, I was surprised that I liked Mob Psycho as much as I did. I ended up really enjoying it. What's up, Basil? Do you know what my friends and mates are like? You don't, def you define your own life. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You live your life how you want, and you define your own happiness and what you want to do. Don't let other people tell you shit, you know? There's a lot more that go into anime than the fight scenes. Yeah. Meanwhile, like, Meanwhile, two of my top three anime are like Steins Gate and Free Rin. Yeah, but I only like fight scenes though, I guess. Both are slightly different, but slight, but use a sweetener can be extremely bad for you. Yeah, do you want to know when it can be extremely bad for you? Yeah, aspartame is bad for you if you have 96 Diet Cokes in one day. Then maybe it's bad for you. Do you want to know what's guaranteed bad for you? Sugar. Calories. Complications due to, to obesity and such. All of the studies that are done on artificial sweeteners are from like the 1980s where they just pumped rats full of like a gallon of aspartame and then said, yeah, this is bad. You like monster? What's monster? What's up, Kush? What's up, Mythic? Add commands. I have commands on YouTube. Like what? Hi, Nicholas. How are you? You didn't miss much. You got a joke? Sure, let's hear it. Guaranteed bad for you? Life. Yeah, like, like all the studies on aspartame and artificial sweeteners, like, are, are studies done back in the day that don't have any, like, legit conclusive like dude real sugar and calories and stuff are guaranteed bad for you like we know that for sure 
And all of the recent studies done on artificial sweeteners are like if you have like an insane amount. Like if you are choosing to have like one or two diet or zero sugar sodas, it is almost undoubtedly better for you than having regular soda. You started playing Rocket League? W. Mythic, is your joke about fucking five-year-olds? It's pretty weird. No, a song request just doesn't work, unfortunately. Look. From WebMD. You can enjoy aspartame in moderation as long as you don't have certain health conditions. Aspartame has been studied for many years and is considered safe to eat in normal amounts. Like... So with that being said... You know, hold on. What is the amount of aspartame that's like actually bad? <sighs> um, I don't know the exact amount, but yeah, look, the FDA approval of aspartame was highly contested. Suspicions of its involvement in brain cancer, alleging that the quality of the initial research supporting its safety was inadequate and flawed. It does look like aspartame has potential health risks for certain people, though. Can potentially cause headaches in some people, mood changes. FDA scientists do not have safety concerns when aspartame is used under the, under the approved conditions. What are the approved, what is like the approved amount? Oh, wait, look, 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 look at this. Look, look how many packets of sugar and stuff you would need to have of these artificial sweeteners of to like to like be in like a bad amount like you know like you like you're not like no no normal person is going to be consuming it in this this excess number of packets I wish it showed how many drinks that would be hold on aspartame is 50 well let me look at that so 50 milligrams. I'm curious. Hold on. How much aspartame in a zero sugar soda?
Look at this. The FDA's acceptable daily intake for aspartame is 50 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. This means that a 150-pound person could safely consume about 3,400 milligrams of aspartame per day. And look at this. Like a Coke Zero, Sprite Zero, all these things have like 50 to 100 milligrams. So you would literally need to be drinking like 30 to 60 zero sugar sodas a day for it to be like bad for you, you know? Like the amount, the amount of X, the amount in excess you would need to have for it to actually be considered dangerous is like insane. Sub pro. Sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, uh, I got sidetracked talking about like aspartame and stuff. Anyway, yeah. So, moral of the story is as long as you're not consuming zero sugar soda in ridiculous excess, it is for sure better for you than regular soda. And this is according to the FDA and actual scientists and stuff, you know, not just, uh, I'm not just saying shit. Posture check, I got you. What is this video? You just, in an hour long? Okay, uh, I'm giving you your points back, you troll. You fucking such a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't want my Twitch channel terminated. Any tips for newbies? My biggest tip that I would give a newbie is just play the game. Like, you have to get to a certain level of hours to even be looking to improve. You just need to keep playing. Yeah. Are... Wait, I'm actually curious. Are people with diabetes, like, are they recommended if they want to have soda to have zero sugar soda? Tips for content creation? I would say the biggest tip for content creation, what I always say, is if you're getting into content creation, first of all, you know, make sure you're doing it because you want to and because, like, you know, you're going to enjoy it. Like, don't... Don't expect any sort of crazy. Don't expect like any money or anything for a long time. And secondly, make sure that you are uploading content on as many platforms as you can. Yeah, no way. You you guys are rewriting history. Your your Gojo glaze was legit. I don't know if that's a good bar, just none, but maybe. There's also old people. There's also old people that like chain smoke cigarettes and they're like 95 years old. So I don't, I don't know. That was callous. It makes less sense now. Wasn't that the whole point of what I used to say? Like, Gojo just doesn't have enough feats to even make that argument. Or like, you know, talk about how he can beat so many different characters. I'm pretty sure I was saying that like the whole time. Like almost certain.
I still gotta catch up to JJK too. Um, so not only have I did I watch Violet Evergarden, but I also watched the OVA and I watched the first movie. So once I watch the Violet Evergarden movie, I'll be done. To be honest, Goku isn't that strong. Wait, you're kind of spitting though. Goku Loki mid as fuck, bro. Dragon Ball power scaling ain't that serious, to be honest. The Violet Evergarden movie? Do I wear makeup? No, I don't. What's up, Car Cartreezy? How are you? Uh, the way people play Rocket League is with lots and lots of hours in the game. A lot, a lot. I've heard the second movie's like really bad because of the fact that it like depicts it like puts the relationship on the front stage and it's like obviously a problematic relationship I'm kind of not looking forward to watching it a lot of people said you're pretty safe to skip it I didn't like the first movie wow okay we actually just got peaked on. Bye, just none. Appreciate you. Love you. Great. Face wash would do the opposite. Face wash wouldn't have your face looking shiny. Like a moisturizer or something would, maybe. But face wash should be like getting rid of all the oils and stuff on your face. I have naturally, I have naturally like dry skin. So I need to be moisturizing like every single day. If I don't, my skin gets so dry and like flaky. It's not, it's not great. I have very dry, sensitive skin. It sucks. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've said this the whole YouTube stream. Don't forget, if you are in the YouTube stream, uh, first of all, I appreciate you being there. Thank you. And don't forget to drop, drop a like and subscribe to the stream. Why do I feel like my teammates like the slowest... Okay. What's up, Taylor? I feel like I'm just like always last back and my teammate is super, super slow to get back on defense and be in position. Nice. Let's go. One goal game. One goal game. Back in it. Back in it. No, you're totally not wrong, Ammo. It definitely it definitely can and has gotten toxic pretty quick in some instances. It's not not great. But I I mean Callus. The movie that I watched, the first one, it was like it was pretty good. I don't know. I gave it like a seven and a half. I just didn't connect with it that hard, I guess. Damn. What country am I from? USA. It's uh, 1.20 a.m. where I live. So it's late, but it's not that late. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, probably quite a bit of time has passed, Callus, and you've, like, matured and, like, learned a lot, too, you know? But... Yeah. Like, it's actually crazy how big the age gap in Violet Evergarden is. It's... Violet is 14 years old, and the Major is 29. That's really bad. And, like, not to mention that it's, like, a grooming situation, too. <laughs> like, it's, like, really bad. <laughs> and it just makes it worse. What abilities would Kirby get if he sucked up Gojo? Discuss. These are the real conversations we need to be having. I think that the regular B attack would be purple hollow. His down B would be an infinity. Um, whoa. Goju versus Ronnie. Wow, bro. That might have been the worst team I've had all night. And I've just continued to lose one goal game after one goal game, man. Feels bad. What's up, Monkey Man? How are you? The, I've heard the new Joker sucks from every single person who's talked about it. Garden of Words? Never heard about it. Don't argue about Goku with Paps, otherwise they'll bring up his feet for some reason. <laughs> I don't get it. They just keep talking about Goku's feet. I don't understand. Who wins, Goku or Chi-Chi's thighs? Okay, I think we know the answer to that. Ammo, that's funny as fuck. Apio buttocks? What? Do I live in Washington? No, I live in Eastern USA. An army of squirrels is gearing up for a big band jazz concert right outside your door. And trust me, their tiny trumpets will unleash chaos. That'll make you regret ever messing with me? What? What kind of fucking evil villain are you? Y'all remember when Goku, after, uh, after Goku did training for, uh, fighting Cell? He, like, jokingly slapped Chi Chi. Like, on the shoulder, like a, oh, you. And he fucking slapped her through a wall and through a tree. I remember. That's crazy. I just realized my team... I just missed an open net. I'm gonna vomit. I just realized my teammate's name is Iron Sack. I'm really sad I missed an open net, I can't lie. <sighs> Not even close. Holy shit. Nice. What's up, Angela? How are you? I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I'm... B what the hell? Chill. 
That's what I'm saying. People glaze Gojo way too hard. I've been saying this. Bro. Never forget our last 1v1, bro, is all I'm gonna say. I fear Elden Ring time is soon. Bad Rocket League sesh today. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I just added that one earlier, Scopes. You like that? Thought that was gonna be a goal. Bad Rocket League sesh every day is crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, for those of you that weren't here earlier and didn't see in Discord, I added a couple new emotes. I added Paps Cartwheel on Twitch, by the way. I can't add any more on YouTube for the time being. But I added Paps Cartwheel. I added Paps Stare and Paps Stanced. One is Ronnie, one is Rocky, and one is an Albernaric doing a cartwheel. Nice. Getting that boost was huge. I still have more emotes lots, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working on adding emotes for the foreseeable future when I think of good ones and stuff. I don't wanna just add anything, you know? I wanna add things that are worthy of being emotes. But I wanna eat pizza. Shlee was saying I could make it Paps Tough. Do y'all think Paps Tough is better than Paps Stanced? I can always change it. It's not hard to change. How is that not a demo? Iron Sack's a great name, Loki, I can't lie. I'm so bad, dude. Oh. You're such a little piece of shit, Xyla, you know that? Oh, okay. That's fine. Tough Rocket League sesh today, bro. Enjoy your video games. I don't think I need to, um, I don't think I need to farm any more levels, at least for now. I think I'm a fine level for where I'm at right now. I probably don't need to farm levels for the rest of the game. I do not have the DLC, no. Nice. It's 
a, a must cow? Oh my god, are you musty cow's brother? Damn, I'm cooking right now. Maybe 1v1 was the... Maybe 1v1 was the key. Surely Elden Ring DLC has to go on sale at some point, right? That's a very silly goal. Hi, robot. to DLC a well anytime soon. Maybe it's on CD keys for cheaper. Hey, maybe 1v1 will make this session better because I'm kind of cooking right now. How am I? Dude, I'm not cheap. I just don't want to be spending <laughs> not cheap because I don't want to fucking spend a bunch of money on video games, hello? I have so many other games to play that for the time being, I'm more than okay not buying Elden Ring DLC. It's literally spooky month and I have multiple horror games to, to play slash get that have priority currently. Can't fall back asleep. L, unfortunately. How is it a bunch? It's $40. It's kind of not... It's not like it's like fucking $5, bro. Y'all say... Yeah, y'all say I'm rich, by the way. You're learning the basics pretty fast. Can you get extra tips? What rank are you currently? Am I RLCS yet? Yeah, I'm RLCS right now. I'm professional. Okay, dude. Yeah, I'm the rich one, apparently. But I'm over here saying, like, I'm not trying to spend, drop, like, $40 on a game like it's nothing. So true, robot. Damn. I don't think he has a lot of boost, surely. No, I missed my wave dash and jumped off the ground. That would have been a goal for sure. I need to score now. I hate this game, bro. Uh, you're level seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta. You're not even close to getting. You don't need tips right now. You gotta play the game. Just keep playing. You just started the game. <laughs> you. You don't need tips yet. You gotta just play and get used to it. Tips for a very... I mean, honestly, I would say the first tips you should do are change your camera settings. You are you using default camera settings? That could be, that could be like actually a tip I would give you as like a brand new player. To be honest, I think camera settings would be definitely something that like a 
brand new players should change and like not use the default ones. The default ones are really bad. Thanks. Here. Change your camera settings to this right here. These are these are some good camera settings. Oh, you you already did change them. Yeah, that's that's something that you don't want to keep the default on. But like maybe change your camera settings to like what I have, and then adjust them how you want to like what makes you what makes it feel better for you. Feel free to change your controls to that something to something that feels comfortable. Hmm. This has been a very awkward 1v1 game. Dude, if that was a goal to tie the game, I actually would punch a hole in my wall. That's so stupid. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. That helps so much, robot. Are there cooler bosses than Star Scourge Radon in the DLC? Um, I would say that FPS does matter in Rocket League, but it also like, you know, I don't know. Like, yes and no. Having better FPS and, and refresh rate and stuff will make the game feel smoother. Dude, that is so, so, so good. I love that that was a goal for him. I don't know. Radon's pretty cool. It's a pretty high bar to clear. the way this person plays. So stupid. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I don't know. I appreciate it. Probably Kush. No. Put it this way. There are people that have made it to top 100 Rocket League level playing on a 30 FPS console. If you're thinking that getting better hardware will ultimately make you a better player, then I wouldn't worry about that. Actually, exactly what I wanted to do. Fuck. It will 100% help you out. I mean, yeah, it can make the experience better for you, but if people are able to get to top 100, 
on a 30 FPS PS4, then, you know, clearly it's not like a, a requirement. You can be a great player. You can get a, you can be a great player with, you know, not the best hardware. I'm not saying that it, I'm not saying that it won't potentially help you out. What I'm saying is it's not a requirement. Yo, 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 Let's go. Let's go. Help. I mean, yeah, like I said. Like I said, more FPS, obviously a good thing for most people. I'm just saying it's not a requirement. Not a requirement and definitely not something that you would need to be a high rank player. One of the best players that I knew personally back in the day was using a PS4 with 30 FPS and he was still a beast. And yes, I'm talking about info. That was almost just ridiculous defense from this gamer. Yeah, I saw that coming, motherfucker. Nice try. Yeah, I miss info too, I can't lie. Is Placidus Sax not a boss that I'll fight naturally? Hey, I got you, Pizza Hut dog. No worries. Everyone in chat, PlayStation or Xbox, me personally, I'm using a PC with a PS5 controller. this game bro oh never mind i love this game it's so good this is my favorite game i hate this game again so that mate plays of course i remember how are you how do i fight placidus sax right, i gotta lock in What am I watching, bro? I hate the way this guy plays so fucking much. Jesus Christ. All oh, right, am I in twos? Do you see two? I guess it was meant to be six to six at six seconds. Oh my god, bro. One more second, and I win. Oh, I lost. That's just gonna go right into my net. Oh my fucking god, dude. What an undeserved fucking loss. Jesus Christ. What a fu- I hate 1v1. You hate your life? Damn. That's so unfortunate. That's such an undeserved loss.
<sighs> Wait, I can't fight Placidasox until I fight uh, the Godskin duo. All right, well, so I can't fight him any yet anyways. I think y'all were trying to direct me to the fight earlier, doing Placidus, uh, doing Fia's quest line or whatever. You hate your life for that same reason. Yeah, I just like let him tie the game with six seconds left and then lost in overtime right away. That shit hurts my heart. Cringe. Okay, Scopes. Good night. Okay. Absolute balls of steel patience. What is that defense? I'll take it, though. If you murder people for their weapons instead of doing their quest line, you're an evil person. I'm so bad. I'm so bad for going taking that so slow. I just didn't think that he was recovering that quickly, I can't lie. Okay, I'm not making the same mistake twice. We're just shooting it. I hate, dude. How many kickoff goals am I gonna give up? So silly. That was so bad, but it worked. What am I? Uh, GC2. Double reset, double reset, double reset. Just kidding. Reset, musty, double tap, give him an open net to score. Okay, nice. I, I just got to him with that bump. That was a close. Holy shit, he just missed an open net. We'll take it. That bump was dumb anyways. I hate the way this person plays so much. And he's the only person I've played in ones today. I'm probably going to be done with ones after this. I'm not going to sit here and just play this same motherfucker all night. Invisible chats. <laughs> you literally see them on the screen. Oh, wait. YouTube's not showing up today. Never mind. I might have to turn the chat bot off and on. You like my PFP? Thank you. I love free run. Who's on the bed? My girlfriend sleeping on the bed? Is that abnormal? People sleep on beds? Wow, that sucks. Nice try, motherfucker. I don't look like my PFP. Why am I catfishing? Um, my PFP is the anime character, Freerun. Um... Not quite sure how else to answer that. Is that in? Nice. 
Bro, I like how... I like how the first two games were both pretty close. And now, right now, I'm winning by five fucking goals. One v one is such a weird game mode, bro. What's up, Dominic? How are you? Playing good right now? Wouldn't say I'm playing good, but better than I was, I guess. Yeah, honestly, who even has anime PFPs nowadays? Don't ever fake a kick up on me, buddy. It's getting put in your net every time. <laughs> He's a moderator for the channel. He's joking. <laughs> That should be GG. Yeah. Explain yourself to G slots immediately. I already did. It's my girlfriend sleeping on the bed. What the fuck else? 10 to 4, you're washed. Um, if I win this game. I play Elden Ring. Oh my, dude, is this the only motherfucker playing 1v1 tonight? This is so wild. I've played four games of 1v1 and every single one has been against this person. What the fuck, man? Is that just in? Yeah, okay. How long I've been playing? I've been playing Rocket League for years and years and years now. It's the only reason why I have any of the skill I have. Any of the small amount of skill I have. Crazy comms game. Wow, I just accidentally bumped him into that. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I dig it. Play Cuphead? I'm yet to play Cuphead, sorry. Can you join me? I'm playing 1v1, my friend, so. Damn, we both went for a slow kickoff there. Just shoots that, wow. A real, a real master of the craft. Wow, that is fucking stupid as balls. Holy fucking shit. Wow. I came off the fucking ground by one inch and I wave dashed instead of jumped. That is so unlucky, but I guess ball don't lie. And we scored the next kickoff, so. Oh, good kickoff for me. Ah, never mind. He's gonna grab boost and have possession. He's faking that. Ball is a steal. He's just going. I hate this game. Oh, I hate this game. I hate this game. Ah. Feet background. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Every time Slee sleeps over, her feet are just barely in the frame. I've given up three kickoff goals this game. It's the angriest I've gotten in Rocket League. I don't know, I used to get a lot more angry than I do nowadays. I've thrown controllers and stuff because of Rocket League. Crazy that he's following that. This game's not looking great for me so far. I gotta lock in.
Holy fuck, dude. I I hate the way this guy plays so much. It's so frustrating, but I mean, you know, I guess if you're getting frustrated by your opponent in 1v1, they're doing something right, right? But man, oh man, that doesn't make it not annoying. No, oh, thank you for the, thanks for the boost. Hello, Emmanuel. How are we? Don't get me wrong. I still get tilted at Rocket League. I just don't get nearly as tilted as I used to. I don't know. Is what's harder, Cuphead or Elden Ring? Discuss. Oh, we're right back in the game. Cover me in corn syrup and cudgel me like a kank, cantankerous pancake. What's popping, beautiful bro? Unbelievable chat. Unbelievable chat in the YouTube chat. I think I figured out this guy's kickoff. Like, he wasn't out kickoffing me because he had like a better speed flip or some shit. His kickoff was just so slow that I think at some points I was just meeting the ball too fast. And he was just out 50ing me because he was getting to the ball later. Yeah, that is fucking bullshit. It's always YouTube. I'm like winning like every kickoff now though, so. That's good. Zero boost, I'm not letting anything happen here. It's got full boost now though. Spawn for me. How the fuck does he catch up to me there? Am I not going supersonic? Is that in my net? I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh my god, bro. You've got more? Oh, I'd love to hear it. I should have zap dashed. Yeah, I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate the way this player plays. I hate 1v1. I hate Rocket League. I hate everything. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the. <clears throat> All good. Fucking puke. You hate me? Okay. God, 1v1 makes my fucking temperature rise. Fucking God, bro. I hate losing one. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's just a couple 1v1 games. No big deal. All good. It happens. It happens. It's frustrating. All good. What are you going to do? So tilting. So unbelievably tilting. Losing to someone that plays like this. What's up, Christina? Um. Mm -hmm. 
What's up, Teddy Bear? What's up, XTX? How are you? Let's see, the Botrix. Oh, there we go. See? I got Botrix back to life on YouTube. All right, I'm not playing any more 1v1 games. My temperature is starting to rise too much. I can't lose to that same player again. It's going to drive me crazy. Let me get a win in something else and then play Elden Ring. What's up? Lure boss or blocks? Wait, what? Bro, I... Bro, please, you motherfuckers just saw me stop queuing 1v1. I know you did. I literally just stopped queuing 1v1 and I'm in a 1v1 match. I'm gonna fucking puke, bro. I fucking hate that glitch, dude. God fucking damn. And now I'm playing Vekage too. Oh, I just wanted to play twos or threes, man. It's so unfortunate. That was close. the hell is that 50? Okay, I was so lucky. If Cuphead would drive me more crazy, fuck that. I can see myself playing Cuphead at some point though in the future. It's like... It's a game that a lot of people love and recommend, so I can definitely see myself playing it at some point. Yeah, that's cr I used to just, people that would beat me in 1v1, I would just ban them. It's so crazy, I used to do that. That's it, they would just, play, they would just beat me in 1v1 and I would ban them. Literally no other reason. I remember that, those were the good old days. I fucking hate this game. What the hell? How did I not even bump him off the wall? This has the making of a low scoring, boring 1v1 game. Okay. Okay. That's a goal, I suppose. That was such a rage bait stun lock back in the day. People would come in, they would like snipe me in ranked, beat me, and then be in my stream already and say GG's like as the game ends. That was such rage bait. I'm gonna fucking actually cool i know cuphead's good the slender man game was pretty good it wasn't like too too scary though i don't know i definitely still think it was an enjoyable experience but it definitely wasn't like i definitely i would not put it on my list of my favorite horror games but i think it was still like worth playing
I think it was worth playing. And it's pretty cheap, too. I mean, I honestly don't know. I don't I don't remember that, Emmanuel, but I believe that it happened. The next the next spooky games I'm gonna play are Dead Rising or Resident Evil 2. Either one. Wow, after the air dribble bump, he's still not diving there, huh? Patience, I guess. And he's not... I missed every boost. Vekage is such a specimen, bro. Nah, peak Rocket League was before free-to-play, if we're being real. We definitely, I feel like we definitely already, we experienced the peak of Rocket League before free to play. IMO. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just simply didn't want to play 1v1. I'm going to fucking actually shoot myself in the head in game. I just simply didn't have that selected, but okay. No worries. All good. Love, love that. It's actually sad a lot of people will never know the Rocket League peak. Someone ban Beckage. Fucking dox him. Get him out of here. You play 1v1 like an actual fucking robot. You play you play 1v1 like next to bot. I hope you know that. Yeah, I wasn't even fucking queuing ones, I know. Fucking bullshit. I didn't want to fucking play ones anymore. I was already fucking tilted in 1v1 and did not want to play. Fucking, I got the bullshit fucking glitch where it still queued up my last fucking queued playlist even though I didn't want to fucking play. Actually so annoying. I was already fucking tilted in 1v1. And then I just lose more rank points. It's really fun. really love that. This is one of the worst Rocket League sessions I've had in like weeks, it feels like, dude. This is horrible. Doors tonight? No, I didn't want to fucking look at you or talk to you. I just want to end on a fucking win, bro. There's no way I'm, like, on a serious note, I'm not going to have time for a spooky game and Elden Ring, so. One or the other. I'm getting off around 4.30. I'm not going to have time for both. Oh my god, Louie. Thank you so much. If I win this game, it's literally all you. How'd they score two goals already? What the fuck? What happened? Was I like that fucking zoned out? Good lord. I don't know. I don't know. Do I play? What do I play? Elden Ring or Spooky Game? I don't know. I I I'll have to decide what I want to play.
Dude, today is just like not meant to be, bro. I'm just not meant to win any games tonight. Yeah, I've been there, done that, Dominic. I just don't have it, I guess. I don't know. It's just one of the, like, I, I literally have lost almost every single game today. Shit is tragic, bro. Unfortunate. Dude, just... I'm getting off the game. I can't take this. I'm gonna sit here and lose 17 games in a row. Just get me off, bro. I can't take this anymore. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. What a horrible, horrible Rocket League day, dude. Not fun at all. You'll regain? No, probably not. I'm probably gonna quit forever and get Kyle on my team every day and then lose every single game because he's fucking horrible. Probably that, but, or I'll regain, either one. Either one. That's it though, I can't play anymore. What a horrible Rocket League sesh, dude. I like just undid like all the progress that I made. Damn, ranked Rocket League on stream fucking sucks. Sometimes, not all the time, but Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Just, just like three and twelve, by the way. Three and twelve session minus eighty-three, by the way. Really fun, really enjoyable. Love this game. Really cool, really, really fun and good game. It's super enjoyable. Love that. Love that a whole lot. Why do I play that game, bro? Subject. Um, I don't know what I want to play. Um, Mm. Fuck. Roblox? Probably not. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I will not start with Elden Ring. I'm just playing Elden Ring. Fuck it. Why are you saying fuck like you don't want me to play Elden Ring? Because you're sleepy? Oh my god, bro. I actually can't believe how horrible that Rocket League session was. That is such a bad vibe. Jesus Christ, dude. Ay ay ay. 
That was horrible. Let's get Elden Ring showing on YouTube. Let's get it back on Twitch. Switch the game to Elden Ring. Switch the game to Elden Ring over here. Um, okay. I think we're good. Well, I'm only going to be playing Elden Ring for a couple hours anyways. I r won't let myself get stun locked. I'll just need to, if I can't beat Millennia, I just need to accept it. Hmm. What does piercing fang do? How do I have so many plus 25? I've won. Is that good? That that looks like it's pretty good. Hmm. I love that I just put that away on accident. I have one plus twenty five and two plus tens. I'm pretty sure. Hey, Austin, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Do you think the stream experiences is better on Twitch? Probably, yeah. Hmm. What's repeating thrust again? Okay. Interesting. My new game plus. This is my first time ever playing on my first... First time ever playing on my first run. Sword dance. I know what that is. Um... Hmm, I know I know Stormcaller's pretty good, but definitely not for this fight. Um hmm. Let's try Piercing Fang, because it seems like it's pretty good. Yeah, not really. Rivers of Blood leaves you open to way more punishment. Um, we're going back to the classic. Actually, if I don't plan on getting hit anyways, uh, I'll try it. But obviously I don't plan on getting hit, but 
Okay, remedium wood. Um, do I care about this? Um, I don't really care about that. Like jump attacks. I, I mean, I guess I kind of do. Hmm. Is this better though? Not really. Hmm. Fuck. Do I have any more damage negation that might be good? Like, nah, she. Does she do holy damage or light? She doesn't do any damage like that, right? I'll just keep this because I can see myself using the... I'm fighting Melania. Okay. Should I maybe try Godskin Duo first? Sup, Dominiki. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Mm. I don't know what I should do first. Okay. Um, Sisty Millennia, I guess. I have Reduvia, but I don't have plus 10. I like Nagakiba more. Just try this. Reduvi is pretty good now. All right, let me do my YouTube intro. Start recording. Reduvi is pretty good, no? Isn't it like actually like kind of busted with the Ash of War? All right. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back to another Elden Ring episode, part 15. Um, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to start doing today. Uh, I might do Melania, I might do Godskin Duo, but either way, probably going to at least be attempting one of those two uh, for the majority of the stream. Hopefully going to be a short one. I don't want to get stun locked on Elden Ring for too long. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can beat one of the two either one but without further ado let's uh let's get into it and actually try let's see if i can okay all right what do we think what do we think should i try godskin duo first and then melania or what what do we think Millennium, millennium. Okay. All right. All right. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll see how I do. My character does look sick, right? Fire is hell. Yeah, I don't want to use sleeping pots. Okay.
Fuck, bro. Oh. So far, not too bad. Getting some nice blows in. Haven't got the water file dance yet, though. God damn it. It's like she she knew I was going to do my Ash of War, and she charged in right before me. Nice. This is a pretty good Ash of War. Not going to lie. I rock with it. Okay. I'm telling you, bro. I know that the bosses actually read your inputs, but goddamn. It's, it's the attack. No, I missed. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. That's my fault. I forgot. She was in the air and I forgot. Okay. 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 I keep, bro, in my brain for some reason, I keep thinking she's going to do like a slam attack. I need to f get in my head. Run. 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 Fuck. There's a lot of different choices and a lot of different ways to approach the game in Elden Ring. Ardo makes it really fun. Oh, I dodged too early. But... I was hoping that staggered here. God damn it. Yeah, my girlfriend's sleeping in the bed. Hi, Redline. How are you? She's really strong. Yeah, it's a tough fight. Bro, what a, what a, what a humble brag in the YouTube chat. Millennia is my favorite Elden Ring boss. She was such a fun fight. I wish you got to fight her more since I beat her on the second try. <laughs> I think I have the Mimic tier. Pretty certain I got the mimic tier. Oh, that's tough. She got her piercing thing off before I got mine off. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, 
player spawns? No, no, I don't. Why is my character so cool? I don't know. I should summon Gimmin for this fight. That's a good idea. I staggered her. Honestly, bro, I feel like I'm going to be using charge attacks more than jump attacks with a Nagakiba. Because that range you get with the charged... That range you get with the charged uh, heavy attack is so good. Let me toss the Axe Talisman on. I stagger her after three. Why am I so sweaty? I'm not sweaty at all. Crazy damage. That was a quick one. <clears throat> What's your tip? Sure. Oh, hi, Gim. So annoying. Oh, dude, she knows that I'm pressing left trigger, I swear. She knows it. She was close to a stagger there for a second. That hurts. I stagger her here. No, good dodge, you motherfucker. comes no. <laughs> I couldn't run away fast enough bro <sighs> so bad I'm sad I'm getting better at learning her attacks though Oh, fuck. Stagger? Oh, fuck me, bro. Okay. Are you, okay, that, you have to admit, that is just fucking unlucky. As I pressed my Ash of War, she started Waterfowl Dance. Wait, I didn't even realize I wasn't using my physics. Oops. That was so unlucky. God damn it. I think I have the... Wait, hold on. I think I have the wrong... tier on. What is my physic right now? Yeah, I read the tip. Level 25, Nagakiba. No, 
That's like literally the best ones I have. I don't have any good tiers. For some reason, my RNG with tiers is so bad. Is it, don't, isn't it RNG, the teardrops from the Earth Tree avatars? Don't you get teardrops from the Erd Tree avatars? Am I tripping? Am I making that up? Damn. I feel like I would have staggered her there too. Kind of sucks. You do, but they aren't RNG. Then why do I have two of the same one? Oh my god, I forgot. I guess not paying attention. I could I could swear I have two of the same tier. Yeah, look at this. How the fuck does this make any sense? I guess because you can. Oh, I guess because it restores your full FP. That's so useless. Oh, Redline in Twitch says, Hi, Wood on YouTube. I guess that makes sense. Whose foot is that? My girlfriend's. Pizza Hut dog, trading official. There's a lot of different ways to play Elden Ring. A lot of different strategies. A lot of different... Yeah, I'm getting trish kebab. That hurts. Enough stamina that hurts. Oh, my God, bro. Nah, this is a pointless fight. I'm going to lose this shit. Stagger. Yeah, it's fine. I was if I was losing that. <sighs> no, I'll beat her with what I have. I just got once I learn actually how to do waterfall. Learn how to dodge the waterfall dance properly. This fight will become a lot easier. Wow, I can't believe I fucked up, fucked that up. didn't stagger her there. Stagger. 
Stagger. Bro, god damn. There we go. Aw, oh, fuck, fuck. Waterfowl dance. Stagger? Nice. Beautiful. Good so far. Close to a stagger. Bleed proc. Oh my god, I thought I dodged that too early. Come on now. Not get too greedy here. It's a good run. Holy smokes. I got greedy, bro. That was a good run, though. I successfully dodged a waterfowl dance. Let's go. That's huge. Let's go, let's go. I haven't used any great runes. I don't have any rune arcs. I'm learning. I'm learning. That was my best run for sure. I got a bleed proc. I got two staggers. That was good. I think that was actually really good. I feel like I feel like I'm getting a lot better at the hang of her attacks for sure. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I should have healed when I staggered her. Unlucky. <laughs> I have Keen Nagakiba. I was thinking about maybe putting Frost to get Frostbite procs too, but I don't know if that's worth it. Hmm. Is that a bad idea? Fuck, bro. Oh my god, dude. That's the second time that I she does waterfowl dance as I press my ass of war. That's so frustrating. God damn it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's so unfortunate. All right, we're good. We're good. It's just unlucky timing. Dagger? Nice. She's got to be close to a bleed proc. I'm more. Holy fuck, I actually survived that. That was a little bit lucky, I can't lie. Yeah, bad timing again. Bad attack time for me. Relentless. Relentless. Cheese rolls. Damn, like, it feels like her AI is so smart. She knows, like, when to not let up. It's kind of crazy. Jesus Christ. I think Elden Ring's probably the best, if I'm being honest. Frost might work. I just don't know if the... I guess I can give it a try. If I lose this fight, I'll... Uh, Change my ass of war. Dude. We're changing it. It's killing me. Yeah, bro. You're just so much better. I know how to play better. You're right. <clears throat> Um, does it need to be cold for it to? Try it. Might as well. Bro, fucking hell, man. some frost build up yeah
That means she has frostbite, right? Wait, so I don't even need to do cold Nagakiba. Like, what that does, what the Ash of War does is, okay, now I see. I'm so fucked, bro. Every time, man, every time. Sam Wilson. I see now. I see what that does. Okay, okay. Mm, I'm going to try Bloody Slash. Can't hurt. I've heard, I mean, I've heard Dark Souls 3 is great too. I, I feel like you can't really go wrong. But now that I know what that Ash of War does, I'm more comfortable actually using it. Wow, bro. Damn, did a lot. Oh, bad timing. Bro, no way, man. Why do you slash drains your HP, really? Oh, it does, it does a little bit. I didn't see that. Interesting. What does this one do again? I might actually do that. I, I kind of feel like that goes with my talismans better. Dude. Someone do the new backseating emote that I added. Holy shit. Emmanuel's never even fought Millennium. Still somehow backseating. Play the game how I want and do the things that I would do. Oh my god. That's, that's probably going to give me some nice bleed rocks. Nice, look at that, bro. God damn. Oh my god. <laughs> Cooking. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit, oh shit. No. Yeah, it's almost like there's a way to say things and you choose the worst way to say them. What a crazy concept. I kind of rock him with this Ash of War. Good for bleed procs. Emmanuel, when he learns that there's good ways and bad ways to speak to human beings. I should have dodged that, bro. 
No, too far. I'm gonna puke. I'm dead. Shish kebab. Thanks for the sub. Bonnie, appreciate it. Bonnie's biggest fan. I'm going to try something. I have an idea. Wait, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have blood. I forgot I don't have Keen anymore. All right. After... After this uh, attempt... I gotta switch back to Keen. Oh my god, I thought I was out of range. So nice. Oh. Nice. She gotta be a, close to a fucking stagger, bro. I'm getting greedy, I'm getting greedy. Yeah, I lost. That was a good fucking run too, bro. Feels bad. That was a good run, fuck me. I got too greedy at the end and I got punished for it. See, with a boss like Melania, I know what I'm doing wrong. And I know the mistakes I'm making. That's why, like, the fire giant was just annoying as fuck. Because the fire giant, like, it just felt like I was getting RNG'd so hard. How do I make, um, not RNG'd so hard. The hitbox was so bad. How do you make, um... Lightning Grease. Anyone know? Can you make that? You can make that, right? Surely. Uh, I got you, yeah. She's sleeping right now. She's snoring. Anyone know how to make Lightning Grease? Surely I have the ingredients. You need to find a cookbook. Lightning proof dried liver. What the fuck? I've never even seen this shit before. Temporarily boost physical attack. That seems kind of good. Fulgur Bloom. Play the Slenderman game? I already did. Fulgur Bloom. Uh, where would I find it? 
feel like I've picked up a lot of shit. I don't have it. Damn hell. All right, well, it's fine. Tragic, bro. Come in the water. Come in the water. Let's go. Come on, come in the water. It's nice. Have I gotten so unlucky with that timing again? God damn, bro. That's so frustrating. Try fire next. Come in the water again. Come on. This is more lightning damage, right? Pretty sure it does. Callus didn't believe me when I said Millicent did waterfowl dance. Sucks, man. That fucking sucks. That was a bad run. Is this like better or something? Um. Inflicting sleep. I can put her to sleep. Is it good to put her to sleep? Water grease? That's not a thing. You're just lying to me. Let's go. Oh my god. So it coats your weapon faster, but goes out so much faster, too.
stagger? How? Stagger? I'm cooked, bro. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't even have a chance to dodge it because I'm so close. It's so frustrating. Well, let's try reverse of blood. Can't hurt. Let's use... Change our outfit. Mask of confidence. No, I'm not using white mask. It's ugly. Anti Melania. Oh, I'll look into that. Thank you. I forgot that the charged attack on this is different. Dude, I dodged the wrong way in the last one. Fuck, man. Limb grave damage? What are you talking about? I was doing fine damage to Nagki, but bro, I got her down to like 20% HP like fucking four times and I just got too greedy. I see the light. I see the light and I troll. That is just like, if I'm attacking her and she does waterfowl dance, I just lose. Simple. Sorry, Louie, it's October. This is not scary though. Piercing Fang wasn't ass. I feel like I was doing good damage and staggering her relatively regularly. Like, okay. N Y'all aren't backseating. I'm, I'm asking for advice this time. Like, am I wrong in, in saying and in making that assumption? Like, if I attack her as she does waterfowl dance, I'm just low-key kind of cooked. Okay, that's unlucky. It's bad timing for me. Motherfucker. Ah! 
she does it in your face, you're kind of cooked, but there's a way to dodge it, obviously. Yeah. Well, I feel like, well, the, the way you dodge it, if you're super close, that's probably be so fucking precise. Okay, I can give you some tips. No. What's my vigor? 50. Getting better at dodging her, though. I don't know if I'm going to go back to do wielding katanas. She's definitely the top. I mean, like, obviously, she's definitely the toughest boss I've fought so far. Like, she's, she's like... I've died to her so many times. Like at this point in deaths when I fought mode. Dude, Jesus Christ. At this point when I fought Moog. I already was like, okay, like I kinda get it. I already like know his move set. I feel like I'm still Oh my god. What's up, strange dies? How are you? There's nothing I can do there. I mean, there obviously is, but just uh, cooked. Honestly, if I just know when she's using waterfowl dance, then I win. I just have to know when she's using waterfowl dance. It's not that hard, obviously. How did that hit me, bro? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Game, are you excited to fight her? I just remember what I was gonna do. Change one of my talismans. I went light load. Oh, I already have it on. Never mind. That's why I was doing more damage. Fire daily. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. I, dude, she's hard, but gonna be so satisfying when I beat her and learn her. I, Gim, I wonder if you're gonna be so high level where that actually might be possible. I doubt it, but maybe. Dude.
I that is the second time where I successfully dodged the second phase and I dodged the wrong way on the third. Oh my god, bro. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, bro. I if if I dodge that and heal, I think I win. Like I think I get to well, don't win, but I think I get to second phase. Like I had her down to fucking again, 20% HP. I just want to feel. I just want to taste second phase. I just want to. I want. I want to suckle on second phase. Stop on that hyper armor. Oh my god! I'm good. Okay. <laughs> she did it so early, bro. Second attack. Dude, I just want to get the second phase. I just want to taste it, bro. I just want to taste it. I want to feel some progress. I might try... I might try dual wheel katana. Uh, after this attempt. To give it a shot. Maybe go like... I might go like... Blood... Nagakiba. And try to get even more bleed procs. We'll see. That was like a very needed animation cancel. Fuck, bro, I actually had one HP. Yeah, I got too greedy with my flash there. It's fine. Not the punish I wanted, but at least I got some damage in. That first phase feels so fucking hard to dodge, bro. I feel like it's so much easier to dodge, dodge the second and third one. That first one feels fucking hard, dude. Oh, fuck. Hi, Snub. Yeah, she's pretty- she's honestly like the easiest boss I've fought so far, to be honest. God, that was a real. Yeah. I'm lucky I had my tears still active for that. That would have fucking done a lot. God, every time I say that, it's like she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. Every time I say that, I, it's happened twice. I say this is a good run and she does waterfowl dance. Unreal. I will not be doing that, cows. I have a plus 25 Nagakiba. There's no point. Okay. Let's put...
We'll do unsheath blood. And let's do now that we're medium, we switch back to claw talisman. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go. And we got this. Our punish will be Ash of War and Jump Attacks. So good. I got so fucking greedy, bro. And now I'm dead. I got so greedy. So I started so good. The new KSI song has been memed on so hard on my For You page. Where I've literally seen speedrunners do her effortlessly. Dude, that Gino machine guy, or what's his name? A fucking short popped up on my YouTube. I watched him do Melania. Yeah, horrible run so far. And he was just like talking to chat, avoiding all her attacks. It was insane. Fuck off with that. Dude, are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'm dead. I need to learn how to successfully dodge that first one. He's the best player in the game. He was literally just like casually talking to chat, dodging every single attack from her and then beat her. Just not even like, like honestly, like he was half looking at the screen it looked like. I still haven't decided what I feel like is the best punish, in my opinion. For me. Dude. Fuck. Yeah, I'm dead. Labungus just raided with five viewers. Yo, Labungus, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. How was your stream? How are you? Awesome name. Thank you. How was your stream? How are you? You're watching me get my ass kicked by Millennia like 70 times now. And I haven't even been to phase two yet. All right. Thank you for the follow too. You met 10 years ago now? Such a good name. You cooked. Come on. Come on, Melania. Do waterfowl dance and I'm like this far away. That'd be great.
tough, bro. Okay, do it now. Do it now, please, 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 please. You're such a motherfucker, you know that? I didn't have stamina dodge, that hurts. Do it now, do it now, do it now. Please just do it at a time where I actually have distance. You are such a B word. Do it now. Do it now. I'm begging her to just do it. Get it over with. Please. Get it over with. She is so rude. Oh my god. I was begging her to do that when I had distance on my hands and knees, begging to do it. And then she does it then. Okay. Hi again, Teddy. This game is called Elden Ring, Speedy. That's so frustrating. That's so, so, so frustrating. What were you playing, Labungus? Were you playing Elden Ring? That was a pretty fucking good run too, bro. And I wasn't just waiting for her to do it. I mean, I was still trying to punish her. Like, when I could. It's like I was just doing nothing. Hmm. That hurts, bro. That slash got me. Okay, we got this. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I fucking suck. Oh, I fucking suck. I might go back to two-handing Nagakiba. What's up, Lord of Darkness? Let's see. Ah, that's stupid of me. Switching it up. Two handing Nagakiba. And trying something new. Who the fuck is Dan Geesling? Tries again. Now that, now that I know how it works. 
Does this game have microtransactions? I don't know. Does Elden Ring have microtransactions? I actually don't know. My God, there's no way. What is she doing? Okay, I feel like I was far enough away there, but I guess not. Oh, punished. Not punished. Hi, Brayden. Interesting. That's why it's good. Wait, so there is no microtransaction in this game? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm surprised I haven't staggered her yet. I feel like I've hit her with a bunch of fully charged heavies. Bro, we're like a fucking inch away. Just dodged the wrong way again. I need to try turning off. <clears throat> the targeted cam on the first one. Was I one-handing that the whole time? I... Okay. Wrong flask. Let's go back to the Axe Talisman, because I'm using... I feel like the Nagakiba is really good because I'm able to punish her from at a little bit of a distance and also stagger her. That's why I'm liking it right now, but we'll see. I would love to get a Bleed proc and a Frost proc. That would be pretty cool. That's so unfortunate. Dude. Wasted my tear. Not close enough. Damn, I got it with Frostbite already? Let's fucking go. Give me a stagger. Give me a stagger. I'm cooked. Honestly, do you want to know what I haven't tried against her yet? The Bloodhound Fang. That's what I'm trying next.
I have not tried a red bloodhound thing yet. That might be the move. It's Dark Souls. This is Elden Ring. This is a from soft game. Attack has killed me like three times in a row. Okay, okay. Um, I'm trying one more time with this, and then I'm trying Bloodhound, Bloodhound Fang. I've only been playing for an hour, and then the whole time it's been Melania. She's such a beast, bro. This does like a surprisingly lot amount of frost damage. You can like get a frostbite proc like immediately. What the fuck? That's like kind of insane. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 2k damage like of one slash. And it barely takes up FP. And it's like, I'm not really getting punished for it when I time it right. That was the best one I've done yet. Nice. Unlucky. Frostbite, frostbite, frostbite. Let me heal. Be a good sport. I am gonna shit my pants. Okay, that's fine. I'm slowly learning. I'm sl I'm learning how to or I've learned somewhat how to dodge that properly okay let's try Bloodhound Fang I have not tried this yet I'm actually curious how this is going to do with my Ash of War punishes okay I'm dying here Wasted my sacred tear. Took too much damage. Not even gonna play that run. Good night, Emmanuel. I 
I'm still motivated to kick her ass. Slashed every time. Thanks for the sub, Gap, and I appreciate it. I gotta change back to the claw talisman. That'll do a significant more damage. Okay, come on. Backing me into a corner. Bro, fuck off with that. A stagger. Dude. Yep, got greedy. I somehow didn't get punished there. What's that? Took way too much damage there. I'm doing good chunks with this though. How about we square up? I'm down. 62 per jump attack is nice. She punished me for getting more damage. That's really unfortunate. You can stagger Elden Beast though, right? Blue Lock episode this morning hyped. I know, I, people in my chat were talking about earlier. I might try the Great Sword with Lion's Claw, right? Isn't that crazy? Where do you even wait? Where do you get Lion's Claw? Because I don't have it. Dude. 
huge. Okay. Back away, back away. Last time I got punished. It's just literally random. Like, when does she decide to do waterfowl dance? Like, genuinely. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, well, there, there she goes. She decides to do it when it's the worst possible situation for me. I don't think she's ever attempted to do it a single time when I have distance. That is so unfortunate, bro. This fucking B word. Caleb. I'm actually surprised I never got that. What's up, Devin? Man. I should I should have just got the critical hit and backed away. I don't think I have it. Cause if I had it. Loretta slash? No, I don't have it. I don't think I went... I didn't really explore... Landell, like, at all. Bleach 2, part 3. Oh, yeah, true. They were, my chat was talking about that earlier, too. I gotta rewatch Bleach. I'm a big fan. I like Bleach a lot. That is so silly. to rewatch but he's has so many episodes i would rewatch the thousand year blood war though oh oh wait wait yeah you were saying it was maybe there it's in a fort hmm i might low-key do that i don't know i'm just trying to beat her with what i have right now i can try more god's great sword too because that can also get some staggers and has a pretty good Ash of War. I just think more I think more gods curse swords is really fun to use. Like why does she not go for waterfowl dance in a time like this, bro? It's always worst case scenario. Like go for it now. Like why not now? 
Why not now? What's stopping doing it now? Actually one hit. There are maggots on my bed. There are worms on my covers. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. All right, let's try this. Morcott's curve sword is fun to use. Good Ash of War. Let's give it a shot. And it probably staggers just as much as the Bloodhound's Fang. to a stagger, surely. It's fucking close. away. Heal up. Nice. She's waiting for me to make a move. I fucking know it. Then I'm jumping heavy. Damn. I just dodged two waterfowls this attempt, bro. Holy shit. Nice, and the bleed proc. Fucking huge, bro. Oh my god. Let's fucking go, bro. Finally. I figured out how to dodge waterfowl dance when I have space. Let's go. I finally got a taste of phase two. Holy shits, bro. She's not dead yet. <laughs> I know. I just don't want to commit to the second Ash of War because I'm so scared of her punishing me for it. Trust me. Not over yet, y'all. No, I play. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring recently. Oh my God, this is beautiful. 
Holy moly. Elden is peak fiction. Now the fight really starts. Learning her second phase attacks are going to be not fun. She's such a badass. Oh, she's gonna go to full HP? Damn. Oh. Okay. Let's use this run as like a learning run. Um, don't punish me. Okay. Punish, bro. Too close. Oh my god, bro. That's so unfortunate. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um... No worries. No worries. No worries. That was good. Okay, I honestly think that now that like I've tasted that phase two, I feel like getting there is gonna be so much easier. And I obviously only saw a couple of her attacks, but let's see. I can let's see if I can get there with way less heals. Let's go. We got this. I feel like getting there. Like now that like I've got there. I'm so afraid of committing to that second part of the Ash of War, bro. I can't lie. No way. Bad run, bad run. I'm not I don't care that I died. Did I ban that guy? Yeah, he's a weirdo. No, I'm not, I don't want help from others. This is a run where I'm going to do it on my own. It was kind of weird to ask that. I would say more than kind of weird. He was being an asshole. Okay. That was a bad run, but we got this. So fucking dumb. Bad. Okay. Did I kill Radon yet? Yes. It would be very funny if I hadn't yet killed Radon, but I'm fighting Millennia. <laughs> that would be okay. I know. Nice, bro. Did I get the bleed proc there too. Holy smokes! What a sequence that was. Jesus Christ. That's a fucking W play for me. Bro. 
Okay. So I got eight flasks. We got this. We went into phase two last time with eight flasks. We can easily do better than that. Stagger there, can't lie. Nice. Nice, bro. Oh my god, I just got punished so hard for not getting that crit. I just got punished so hard for not getting that crit. Oh my god. Holy fuck. W phase two, you'll be here soon enough. Yeah, I got this. How many attempts spawner now? Am I on a hundred? We got this. Dude, fuck off, man. Oh, that was crazy. I wanted to die there. 90? 91. I might go back to Bloodhound's Fang next. Or now. I don't know. I'm liking this. I'm just... I know I'll do even more damage with that second phase Ash of War, but I'm so afraid of committing to it. Yeah, I'll try Bloodhound's Fang again after this attempt. Punish, punish so hard. I do have Blood Flame Blade, but I have no stats and faith. You can use Frost Pots for, to stop her. No, I'm not trying to like cheese the fight. I want to beat it like. I want to beat it with my own, with my with skill. And. I don't know, good dodges and stuff. I don't want to try to cheese this fight. I can do it. I mean, I've already made it to second phase when I play it right. So, I know I can do it. Try Blood Hoppy again. Dude, fuck. What's up, missing biker? How are you? How horrible dodges that run for me. This game is called Elden Ring. I think Morgoth's Curved Sword gets faster bleed procs. I kind of wish I got this to plus 10. Is there like a big difference between plus 9 and plus 10? I kind of feel like there is. I 
to die again. What's up, Majid? I am just playing bad right now. Yeah, this fight's tough. Uh, you upgrade this with Somber. Okay, bye, Missing Biker. For me there. Nice, huge. Back away, back away, back away, back away, back away. I could sense that shit coming. I knew it. so greedy. I got so greedy like a fucking dumb fuck, bro. I got so greedy like a little dumb fuck little bitch. This is painful. Every time, bro. You're back? Oh my god, welcome back. They do be like that with the game. Dude, I know it. I get so greedy, I get punished, and I know exactly what I did wrong. I know exactly why I get punished. Deserved. This is tough. <sighs> the whole stream. Well, not, sorry, not the whole stream. The whole time I've been on Elden Ring. So, an hour and 45 minutes. You love my hat? What hat? I have bed lunch, what does that mean? That was a good exchange. Yeah. You beat her in five tries? Damn. You must be a beast. Unlike me. Huh. 
I will beat her. She will know pain. So unfortunate. Now to use a flash there. How many times have I died to her? Almost a hundred times. She's tough. Waterfowl dance now, perhaps? This is a bad run. I'm gonna need like a good stagger to lead proc to salvage this. Yeah, it's a bad run. That shit hurts. I'm determined though, like I'm, I'm, I might not beat her this stream, but I'm determined to beat her. I'm getting pretty close to when I said I want to get off. Good heavens though. What's up Bilal, how are you? Dude, that attack always hits me like fucking once. No way. Nice. Dude! Oh my god, I didn't even have stamina to fucking hit her again. That sucks. Wasted crit opportunity. Okay. Nice. I can feel a waterfowl's dance coming. No? Interesting. Very, very interesting. I can feel it coming soon. She hasn't done it yet. Yeah, here we go. She's got to be close to getting staggered. I got... Dude, I'm such a dumb fucking idiot, dude. That was literally such an, a good attempt, and I just trolled it by getting greedy. Oh my god, bro. That was such a good attempt, and I trolled. I deserve to die there. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm doing the best of Bloodhound Fang right now. It's a good mix of Bleed and Stagger, Elijah. I'm running Dex Arcane mainly, so... Dude, fuck off with that.
Yeah, okay, that hits me. This is a bad run. A stagger or something. Yeah, I just, I wanted to die. Obviously. What's up, Lazarus? Yeah, I mean, she's taking me forever, too. Like, I've been fighting her for, in total, about two hours. So, I mean, I would consider that forever. I'm trying to alternate between Ash of War, Jumping Heavies, and Light Attacks. I'm just getting greedy some of the times and getting punished for it, unfortunately. Yeah, it's so silly. I just, I didn't have any stamina to do anything there. I do not know how I didn't stagger her there. I must have been so close. Yeah, I was using Naga Kiba with Chilling Slash, and that was doing pretty decent. But... I'm just doing way more damage... with this. This run went from being pretty bad to fine. Yeah, now it's really bad. Oh, Jake, I'm doing all right. How you doing? That sounds pretty good, Lazarus. Lazarus. Cows, you just missed an attempt that I threw so hard. I had her at 10% HP. I had full HP. And I got greedy. And she and she one one hit me in a chain. It was tough.
reset, reset, we're good. Eight flasks, half health. Say yikes all you want, Callus. Doesn't matter how many deaths I have. I'll beat her before going to New Game Plus at a lower level. And you gave up and quit. Um... Let's toss that on. And let's toss. Hmm. Honestly, I don't want to get hit, so might as well. I can do it. I know I can. I believe in myself. That's a pretty good one, AJ. It's a good joke. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll give that to you. Dead. Bad for me. She's got to be close to a stagger. Bro, huge. Okay, I can feel a waterfowl's dance coming. No? I felt it in my bones. No way. Stupid man, fuck me. I have a talent for losing these good runs. No, I'm still doing good right now. I'm still motivated to beat her even though she's kicked my ass so many times. Keeping my motivation. She's a she's a cool boss. It's like kind of hard to get mad because like I know what I'm doing wrong, you know. 
So it's kind of hard for me to get too tilted when I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. First flask. Felt the waterfowl's dance coming. Dude, just literally one long move and the whole fight's over. Literally one, bro. One. So frustrating. You like have to fucking play perfectly. Because you get hit once, you get locked in a chain, it's over. Fuck, man. How to dodge waterfowl dance. Run away. That's what I've learned. Run away and then dodge into the next couple. Towards you. Down. Wait, did I have to drink my physic? Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stupid. Blade of Nameless King, who fucks up the L uh, DLC. That seems kind of like cheese, though, Sank it, no? Is she the hardest in the game? I think... I think most people who beat Elden Ring probably considered her to be one of the hardest in the game, right? Oh, Dark Souls 3 is like the last boss. Always get cocked by one of those, huh? I could have probably followed up on that. Okay, okay. Bleed? No bleed. I can feel the waterfowl dance coming. It's coming soon. It's tingling. Yep, here we go. See? Told you. Yeah. And I dodged the wrong way because I'm a dumb fuck. All good. I choke another decent run by just dodging the wrong way. That hurts.
It's like she knows. She knows that I'm gonna press my heal button. Hey, peace out, Lazarus. Have a good one. So what does this black knife do? I wonder, would the Reduvia Ash of War? I'd rather drink my physic. Be good against her. How is Moog? He honestly took me kind of a while, but once I got the hang of him, he was honestly relatively, relatively okay. Drain her HP on hit, then you have to swap. What do you mean by drain her HP? Didn't get punished more in that exchange. Thank you very much for the sub, the sub, Lazarus. I appreciate that. Gotta be close to a bleed frog. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna try Bloodhound Fang one more time and then Rivers of Blood again. Hi, too bad for you. How are you doing? How long have we been on this? Do uh, Command Melania. And you'll see. I'm hopping off soon, though. I told myself I wasn't going to be on much later than 4.30. Wow, that sucks. sucks. Nice bleed proc. I'm dead. Okay. So, how, how do we think the Reduvia would do against her? Would the Reduvia, I, I feel like it would kind of be good. No? Am I just, am I? Wow. 
wow, bro. Fuck me. Yep. Of course, you know I'm healing. He's already back to full health. Foul dance coming. Wow, bro. I just cooked myself by using too much stamina. Is bleed not the best status on her? Let's try Nagakiba one more time. I feel like I can do good with her. Give me back my old paps? What? What a weird thing to say. You say that like you've been around and a supporter for a long time. bag. Dime bag. Thanks for the follow. Why'd I ban you on YouTube? Probably because you said some stupid shit. Okay. We're gonna try something. smithing stones. I need a one. Damn. Never mind. Never mind, I was gonna see if I can get to like plus nine. I don't know if plus seven's good enough. I mean, it, it might be for the bleed procs. No, it definitely was hateful and weird. Absolutely, if I banned you.
Nice. I'm stupid. I feel a waterfowl dance coming. I know it. Oh my god, I'm dead. Sword. I don't have any larval tears and I'd have to respec. That's not a bad shout though. I just gave up there. I knew it was over. dance I can feel it coming what do you got what do you got what are you pulling yeah here we go I knew it I knew it oh my god not hitting her enough to get bleed procs. Holy fuck. One mistake. One mistake, bro. One mistake. That hurts so bad, bro. Change this to Axe Talisman. Fuck, I gotta get off soon. I said I wanna play for around two. It's already been around two and a half. I can't let myself get sucked in for too long. I just need to accept that I'm probably not gonna beat her this session. And I'll just beat her next time.
Come on. I need to hit her enough to get these frost procs. I, uh, sorry, bleed procs and frost procs. That's gonna do so much damage. Nice. through this. It's good for you. Dodge the wrong way. Come on. Nice. Nice. Huge, huge, huge. I need a bleed, though. Come on. It's still not about attempts. Too close. It's too far, I mean. Nice. Oh my god. I am sad. Fuck me. I need to punish her more often to get the frost and bleed procs. I like this setup. Hi, Splash. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I still got it with the frostbite. Huge. I don't know. I don't know how, but we still got her. <laughs> Staggered. Come on, she's got to be close. Nope. Gonna get punished. Gonna get punished. Oh. 
feel the waterfowls dance coming. Six flasks, come on. Just chunking her. Come on. There we go, see? Three flasks left. Fuck. Nice. 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 Huge, massive, sexy damage. Fucking go. Okay. Second phase, three flasks. Full health. We got this. Run away, 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 run away. Tough man. Second phase, dead immediately. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man. What's the proper way to dodge that? This is where I'm asking for a little backseating. Tell me how I'm supposed to dodge that. What are you supposed to do? Just so I know. I dodged it the first time. I thought you run away and dodge, but I guess not. Dodge and then run out of the range. Okay. Dodge when she lands and then run out of range. Okay. I can do that. my punish. Never mind. I got greedy there. Is there a good hit? Too far. There we go. Don't try to dodge your second phase drop attack. Just stop. Just stop lock target and attack. Okay. Yeah, that was 
Okay. Okay, and replenish. Okay, that's really unfortunate. It's fine. Let's look at the frost build up. Sucks. Good dodge from her. I got punished. I got punished again. Full HP. Just a bad run. I'm only gonna try a couple more times. I really feel like if I could sit here for like another hour, I would beat her, but I can't. I'm already long later than I wanted to by half an hour. and die on right there. Come on. She's really fucking hard. I'm telling you, every time that I heavy her after I crit her, she goes for waterfowl dance. She knows. She literally, the AI must be programmed to punish me every time I do that. I have died to this boss over 100 times now. Good morning. I will beat you, Millennia. I hope you know that. Blade of Nicola. Come hang out over here. It's nice. Yep. 
punished. Yeah, punished. Bad run already. Too far by like a fucking pixel. Feels bad. So fucking close. Doesn't matter. Punish right after, anyways. is hurting me, bro. Run away, then jump. I was just running. Try. I feel like sometimes I get enough distance where I can just run. I dodge into the second one and then dodge away from the third one. Like, I feel like... I, I'm dying here. I feel like I was, I have learned how to dodge it. I'm just miss fucking timing it and taking almost full health bars or just dying. I have like one, maybe two more attempts in me for today. with the hyper armor attack. Too, Too far again by a fucking pixel. slammers so I can get you with some good hits. That works too. I'll take that. Oh my god, bro. I'm dead. I thought I was gonna get cooked way harder there, I can't lie. I'm dead now, for real. I wish I did have the Dark Moon Greatsword usable in this situation, I can't lie. We're fine. That's probably my last attempt for today. I'll get back at it probably tomorrow.
Okay. Any heaviers? Honest. Too far away, that hurts. This is a weird run. Come hang out in the frost. What's wrong? What's the problem? Dude, what a weird run this is. Yep, knew it was coming. Damn. If I dodge that last one right. I'm dead this time. So stupid. Mm. I'm getting frustrated. Okay. That was a weird run, too. Six blasts. Come on. Dude, shut the fuck up, man. Five flasks, and she has so much health, bro. This is a bad run. This is my last run. Regardless how I lose. I deserve to lose that run. I couldn't I couldn't have played like a bigger dumb fuck that run. I deserve to lose. Alright. Let me hop off now. Just three hours straight pretty much of just losing to her. Oh man. Tough. Alright, uh, this is for the YouTube recording. Uh, if you enjoyed watching me lose for three hours, uh let me know. And uh yeah. I'll see you next time. That stuff for real? Yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna beat her. I kind of, I think, I kind of want to do try Dark Moon Greatsword next time. I'm not gonna lie. Try Dark Moon Greatsword with Or 
Where is it? Charge spell and skills. Dark Moon Greatsword with that. And with... Uh... Does... Does the Dark Moon great fire damage takes away the frostbite thing in case you want to give it more often and more? Oh, that's actually true, yeah. Interesting. I wonder. Um, is the Dark Moon Greatsword considered. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. But I think Dark Moon Great Sword is what I'm gonna go to next. I just need to get a larval tier. Okay. Appreciate y'all YouTube. Don't forget like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'll be live again at some point tomorrow. Until then, love y'all, appreciate y'all. Bye YouTube. Okay. Now it's your turn to go to bed, Twitch. Twilly's live? Let's read Twilly. No, it's okay. No worries. Thanks for vibing. Thanks for hanging out when you can. No worries at all. We regain, and I, like I said, I appreciate you come when you can. How about this? You drop Twilly a follow and say hi to him, and I'll be happy. But yeah. Show uh, Twilly some love. I'll be live again tomorrow. And until next stream, see you next stream. Love y'all. Bye, bye, Freaky Puss. Bye, Majid. Bye, too bad for you. Bye to everyone lurking. Bye. See you next time.